sit in my parking brake. See what Dave's got going on right now. Dang. Uh, it's pretty dark out here. I put my GoPro in night mode, so Let's see if I can uh, get some good footage from this. It's like a tractor with a flatbed trailer and the coil fell off. Before you lift up, all right, we got the air jack, air mat. To lift this thing up, we can get it out of the way. The trailer's completely broken. I'll show you up front, but uh, we're gonna get some wood under here so they can pick this up and get it out of the way. Thank you. We can worry about the trailer. There you go. Working great. on this side huh? it's moving yeah that's it maxed out yeah. we'll put the binders and go deeper yeah. uh what's the weight on this Underneath, what I'm thinking is maybe we could drop in a chain from up here, pull it out from this side, and then uh, we'll pick it up and, and turn it. It's probably going to be our safest bet because of the weight. This looks like the company, if you see up ahead, there's my truck, and in front of that, the company brought their another trailer so we can set it on there. Dang, that was not easy. But these bags, man, kick butt. We got two 5 8 foundry hooks on each one of Big Flipper's lines. Because of the weight of this thing, half inch chain was out of the question. We're using 5 8 chain, two 15 footers, with both ends attached to each cable. even out. What? 
The chains are low? Oh, we'll even them out. Just let's get it. Man, that thing got destroyed. Didn't look as bad, but I guess all the damage is underneath. So we're gonna swing. Dave's gonna swing and get it out of the way. Uh, we'll set it on our wood. Uh, let me get my piece of wood right here. Here, we'll set up the wood right here. Hey, you can feel the weight, huh? Ah, big flipper on hand, but uh, that is one heavy coil. I'm always scared of these things, man. People, uh, this thing was luckily chained down pretty good for the most part, I think. I've seen these when people crash these trailers, they go flying forward into the cab. Oh, looks like he's gonna put it to the side of the truck. Let me move the wood. Well, that's precision. What if you extend out? Vertical. Yeah, you want it that way, right? Correct. Yeah, yeah. If you put one of these rubbers like right there and then put that down, the rubber will keep it from sliding. So Albert, grab one of those black rubbers. He's gonna use these things to keep it from sliding. There we go. And that looks like you could just tuck in, let it drop, and extend out. Fix. All we did was just switch the position of the chains on uh, the foundry hooks. We were, um, there we go. That's fine. Much better. Perfect, dude. Now that it's on the black thing, you can just boom up to make it, yeah, like that. Now it's gonna spin, perfect. Cool. And then once it's straight, we just uh, properly chalk it. Very good job, Dave. Perfect. All right, got a fresh new battery from Hulk. We brought in Albert for the spill recovery. It's quite a lot of fluids. Now that we got the coil out of the way, Dave and I can focus on the tractor trailer overturn. Probably gonna swing it. You're gonna pull it? Yeah, smart. Dave's gonna pull the rear of the trailer so it's more parallel right here with the, the outriggers. 
That way when we flip it, it lands within this lane right here. That'll keep the rest of the traffic moving. The beauty of these rotators is it allows us to work not just safely and more efficiently, but uh, we don't have to open up or take as many lanes. safe for towing yeah all right i'm right on my milwaukee light tower just to illustrate that's where it's cracked and then down there and then up top so dave's gonna set up to lift and catch the rear and i'm gonna do the same for the tractor portion oh that was fun stuff but we're pretty much rigged Let's slide it. I'm gonna slide it. Saint Clair. Better? Alright. Can't go too much. That's good right there. Okay, everything in position, everything looks great, we contain the spill, once it's upright, we'll uh, pack it up, let me get my wood out of here, I don't know if you guys can see the rigging, but I'm using these brand new container things again, oh too dark, we'll see when it comes over. Make sure there's nothing in the way. Dave's hooked and rigged, ready to go. Uh, I guess let me just stand on my side then and we'll do this. All right, I'm gonna stand this way when we do the flip, yeah? It's gonna be easy. In fact, let me uh, let out with my blue right now. It's all lift. So once CHP, they want the, the freeway shut down for the lift in case anything snaps. Once they give us the okay, it's flipping time. Everything's clear. That's it right there, huh? Nope. And that's our breakup ahead, I think. Yep, I see the black and white. Let's go. Ready? One, two, three. catch up. Let out on your catch. Alright.
Big Flipper, great job, Hulk. shackle and then it would ride up against the cab but look at this huh? Lando's here just in time I got Hulk in front of this bad boy I'm gonna tow it out of here just to show you on this side I mean I stress this in all my videos about how smooth and efficient we are and just because something rolled over doesn't mean we do further damage this side's perfectly intact trailer's destroyed but that happened during the flip i mean the catwalk everything else is the only damage that, that's ever on these vehicles is what was already there from the crash like all that but we don't give in the roof when we flip things we don't use chain and then destroy it further it sound like a broken record but it's something i'm proud of oh shoot they've got this airborne That'll come out. This thing cracked in half all nasty. The trick is the balance on this thing. They picked it up right before the crack. Because if he uh, picked it up from right here, it broke it, they're able to just tear this thing in half. Like this. So very good rigging back there. Let me hook this up and get it out of the way so you can back up, Enrique. Good job, Enrique. While I was looking up the track, it looks like David and them knocked this out too quick. Just chilling right here. But once Enrique finishes up, uh, we're gonna secure this with the Lando. Then Dave's gonna pick up, swing, and that other guy's gonna back up with the trailer and we'll set the pole there. Then we're done. Cool. We just finished doing the uh, all the cleanup. Uh, we just finished sweeping out, so I'm gonna move the flatbed out of the way so the customer can get his uh, his trailer. On the driver's side, a big flipper. From there, Dave's gonna he's gonna pick up that big coil, swing it over to his passenger 
sign and set it on its trailer. And we are out of here. Yeah, this guy's plenty of room now. turn this way 90 degrees and they want it this way on the bed so what we're gonna do is we're gonna get it on the bed first um, and then re-rig it to put all four oblongs onto one snatch block that way we can rotate it I will be pushing the working load limit but it's the only way to do it and it's only gonna be lifting uh, a couple inches up the bed so they don't handle it because all the heavy lifting and dead weight, uh, the dead lifting is done right now. Now that it's on the bed, I'm gonna jump up top and help Dave. Well, that was nerve wracking to jump up there to do that. So the reason we did this is because we need to turn the other way to fit in between these two pieces of wood. And with two lines, one on each end, you can't rotate it. So we put all of them to one line. It's our 75 ton. We're well within the working loan limit of the boom. The lines are rated at 25,000 pounds each. Our weakest point is the snatch block, which is, a, which is a 15 ton. But it is what it is. See how it's spinning now? Now it'll spin. Now the reason I did the re-rigging up here instead of down there is because we'll be exceeding the working loan limit of that snatch block. And I don't want to do a deadlift from all the way at the bottom. I'd rather just here, it goes up a foot, rotates a few feet and set it down and that's it. It's 
it's easy to rotate with just one hand. Peace out, y'all.